All right, let's get moving, everybody. We've got some rain showers that have just pushed into the Grand Rapids area. We've got uh, darker clouds, ominous looking skies, but uh, you know, we did get a little phase of some sunshine earlier on this afternoon that sent the mercury to 74 degrees in GR. There you can see it and a downpour pressing on through. Let me get out of the way. We're talking high school football. Muskegon at Mona Shores. This game kicking off, I believe, at 7 o'clock and uh, should have temperatures running in the mid to upper 60s for the majority of the game. And yes, perhaps you will dodge a shower uh, here or there, so you want to be on the lookout for that. But as the game wears on, the prospects for rain are actually going to de decrease with time. And notice the winds out of the south southwest and very light. So uh, we're really not concerned about any wind gusts uh, moving that football around tonight, despite some of the active weather at the current time. Temperatures running in the lower 70s. Again, did get to 74. I saw in GR earlier. This afternoon, 67 South Haven, southward to Benton Harbor in a zone of rain cooled air. We have had these recent showers and thunder showers hugging the uh, Lake Michigan shoreline more so than inland locations. But as you saw in Grand Rapids, getting the rain to push in as of now, winds not much to speak of out of the east or the southeast, only around five miles per hour and upper level low spiraling over eastern Wisconsin and northeastern Illinois and Lake Michigan. So on the front hand side of it, keep in mind the flow around low pressure is counterclockwise. Uh, we're getting the flow of moisture coming in from the south, coming in from Indiana and a little bit better coverage, I would say, over the past couple of hours. And as I mentioned, some of the best coverage near the lakeshore, but just inland from the lake itself. So heavy downpours across Extreme eastern Ottawa County at this point. If you look closely, yes, some lightning strikes and a fair amount of them through northern Ottawa County. So uh, don't be shocked if you do hear a rumble of thunder or see a strike of lightning, even getting a few more than uh, just a, a strike of lightning in some of these locales, but not severe weather. The worst thing we could probably experience would be some very tiny hail coming from uh, some of those heavier Downpours. I show you another mass of moisture, a bit of a swirl in the atmosphere out over California, out ahead of it. Some rainfall. That system will be responsible for bringing us our next round of rainfall. It does appear at some point later Monday into Tuesday. So warm weekend ahead. Yes, temperatures low, perhaps mid 70s tomorrow, hinging on whether we can get some sun to break out in the afternoon to near 80 degrees on Sunday. You know, I mentioned that a few days ago, but that prospect it looks like it's coming to fruition. I think Sunday and Monday warm pattern to continue more showers as mentioned by say late Monday into Tuesday. Here's those temperatures. Yes, eventually going cooler by next Friday into the following weekend. But until then in the interim, look at this 80 on Sunday, 82 on Monday, Doug, not bad. Way above normal average highs in the low to mid 60s at this point. Here's this European model showing you know, I'll tell you what, maybe a sprinkle or patch of drizzle tomorrow morning underneath a fair amount of clouds, but the majority of Saturday and Sunday are going to be dry. Uh, maybe a patch of drizzle or a shower very early Sunday morning. Uh, as a little warm front comes through, that'll be out ahead of this warmer air that does flood in. But understand the majority of Sunday and Monday are going to be dry with some sunshine temperatures around 80 to the lower 80s. Here comes this next system later Monday into Tuesday that could produce some thunderstorms actually with a cold front that will be slicing through this very warm air mass. There are those rain amounts uh, over the next several days. Nothing tremendous, but uh, yes, a half of an inch plus in some areas. And here we go, Doug. Temperatures uh, looking warm, eventually cooling down by next weekend.